Johnny Bravo, Dexter's Laboratory, and the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Were some of the best English teachers a Francophone immigrant like me could ever have. Their curriculum riddled in laughter, impossible exploits, and the daunting task of saving the world from the aliens. My accent. My accent is a Saturday morning cartoon. It often riddled others with laughter. Coiling into a language not its own was an impossible exploit. Trying to transform into something powerful enough to save everyone else from the alien and the shame that came from being made to feel different, that my accent, my culture, my breath was too unreal and did not deserve to be so animated. Two, why being detained by immigration feels like food poisoning. The handcuffs tight around my wrists were the invitation for dinner. I unfolded my pride, laid it on my lap like a napkin to catch the crumbs of American pie my Douala mouth will not. I cut my passport into pieces, salted its savory wounds, swallowed each jagged portion until a diaspora lined my small intestines and my visa almost tasted renewed, eating at a table bearing no welcome Food from the American kitchen, four centuries deep in cross-contaminated meal prep, digestion has never been easy for the foreign stomach. Three, my language was to be deported so I would forget where I came from. Trying to translate the catacombs of my parents' tongues into maybe a diploma, into maybe that white picket flesh while still living on Section 8 bones, while I still wish that I wasn't too black for Africans or too African for blacks, but still all meaningless in America because the bullet never asks what part of the ocean are you from. The bullet doesn't care about your immigrant experience. The bullet is a model minority. The bullet is customs. The bullet is dreaming of the ocean inside of you, America. Show us your papers. Who documented your dream? Can the attack dog still smell the unalienable right from my brittle and marginalized skin? I am a ready meal. I traversed an ocean for you. I am the ocean, already seasoned, full of salt.